All right, just a gauche. Okay, you don't need too much of this. Oh, clearly you don't need too much of it because now it's all over the damn stove. God, just cut, cut. A dash. Two dashes. Let's see what this do. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, my loves, this is my first meal of the day. I know it might not be as visually appetizing. I gotta work on that, but the shit's banging. These are carrots sauteed in apples and brown sugar. You guys saw me make those. These are turkey necks, been crock pot in for about 12 hours. And those are leftover red beans and rice from Popeyes. <laughs> Let's eat. All right, guys, as you guys can see, I am fasting, but that ain't gonna mean I ain't gonna eat right when the sun go down. Uh, we have some browning that's gonna make or turn into a roux right here. Uh, brown sugars on this. We have some Indian inspired hot sauce on that side. We're gonna make a nice little roux with this. Uh, it's been perforated, so holes are poked in here. Again, there's like 12 different seasons on this T-bone steak. And these green beans have been uh, in the crock pot all night. Uh, so this will be my dinner when this time. We're gonna slow cook this motherfucker, by the way. Hi, new oven. Boom. Put that bitch in there. And I just love the like aroma of like your house cooking food. Slow cook next. Start that bitch. And then by eight o'clock, 10. All right, I'm gonna put some shrimp on the side. These were already peeled uh, by Publix and I am mixing this with Slap your mama and some garlic seasoning from Mr. Fish in Myrtle Beach. So that will go along and accompany this beautiful, oh, it smells so good steak. I gotta get out of this kitchen. I'm supposed to be fast and I'm hungry as hell. Just a slight update on tonight's dinner. As you guys can see, the green beans look good. I like to keep the stems on there and eat them like a rabbit. Uh, I just took the tails off of this shrimp that has been marinating in this beautiful sauce. And I just flipped our steak over and seasoned it with some rosemary and natural cilantro here. I tasted the roux, uh, even though I'm not supposed to be eating, but I needed something, girl. My stomach is growling like a motherfucker, but that is going to be so good. So steak and shrimp dinner tonight in preparation. Finally, sundown and I can eat. Let's finish this dinner. Extra virgin olive oil in the pot right here. We're gonna start with the shrimp. As you can see, I am seriously hungry. We're gonna use this hot and honey right here as well. Boom. We're going for a sweet and spicy profile on this shrimp. We're gonna let this heat up just a little bit. And we're gonna drop these motherfuckers and saute them slightly uh, in olive oil in this hot honey and add some Old Bay. Let's get it. Well, I missed the tails on them. Oh, well. Now this is marvelous. Oh my God. I wish you could smell my house right now. Green beans took 48 hours in the crock pot. Steak took over 12 hours today. Shrimp took like two seconds. My take on a T-bone steak and shrimp. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, this shit's so pretty. I don't even want to eat the motherfucker. I got this bitch on warm. Warm. We are going to be making catfish, okay? It's fresh from the Publix, as you guys can see, uh, as well as shrimp. We're gonna fry that up. This right here is pork belly. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had pork belly before, uh, but I've had it when it was curled up and stuffed, and the outside turns real crispy, uh, like a 
salted pork or fat back type of situation. I looked up a recipe online. I'm going to try that out. These are the seasonings that I'm going to prepare this marinade with. And this needs to be scored and put in the refrigerator all night uh, per the recipe that I'm going to be using. But as you can see, I'm using the Slap Your Mama. We're going to bread up with Mr. Fish. Use all three of these seasonings and make a marinade for them so that the seasonings on the inside. And this will probably not be cooked until Friday. All right, crisscross scored, you know, like the recipe calls for. I'm going to go ahead and season. The recipe does not call for this, but if this is going to be in the refrigerator overnight, it might as well be getting some of that good sunshine seasoning. And I'm going to just, you know, rub it in there, try to get it in the creases or whatever. Mmm. -hmm. Beautiful. And I'm also going to put a nice little gamey herb on here, that being this rosemary. Ignore that leftover turkey neck steak and shrimp from yesterday. Uh, that's the fish that will be cooked and the pork belly is going to go down here. As you guys can see, they said skin side up to dry it out and that's going to add to the crunch of the pork belly. It's 8 o'clock. The sun has set and I can eat. Uh, so I'm warming up the leftovers from yesterday uh, just to nibble on that. But I'm about to go ahead and put that in there. And it, yeah, I can't even talk. I'm so fucking hungry. Fasting day three. Let's eat a lot. Six. Now that's some fat ass shit if I ever seen it. Mmm. Mmm. Over here. Eat it, Mmm. Oh, that's some turkey in it? Mmm. Now think, give me the whole damn thing. Mmm. Mmm. Over here. Eating while I'm cooking. I'm about to spray this pan real quick. Mmm. And get some leftover green beans in there. Alright, so I like my fish fried hard. It's floating right now, but you can tell it's not hard by the flour on the outside. So we're going to leave it in there just a little bit longer. The green beans got done a minute ago. And yeah, that plate is kind of gone. Alright, we got the fish done. Let's throw the shrimp in there. We're going to go one by... Nah, fuck this bullshit. Just give me a handful of this shit, bitch. I'm hungry as hell. I mean, uh, just like that. Woo woo. <laughs> That's it. Mm. can't fuck with me in nobody's kitchen. I'm trying to tell you, y'all can't fuck with me in nobody kitchen. Mm. I'm giving you angles. I'm giving you fried fish. I'm giving you fried shrimp. I'm giving you green beans, bitch! Baby, it's 8 o'clock. The sun has set and I can eat. Uh, so I'm warming up the leftovers from yesterday uh, just to nibble on that. But I'm about to go ahead and put that in there. And it, yeah, I can't even talk. I'm so fucking hungry. Fasting day three. Let's eat a lot. Oh, I am and six. Now that's some fat ass shit if I ever seen it. Mmm. Mmm. Over here. Eat it, Em. Mmm. Oh, that's some turkey in it. Mmm. Now I'm thinking of the whole damn thing. Mmm. Mm. Over here, eating while I'm cooking. I'm about to spray this pan real quick. Mm. And get some leftover green beans in there. Alright, so I like my fish fried hard. It's floating right now, but you can tell it's not hard by the flour on the outside. So we're going to leave it in there just a little bit longer. The green beans got done a minute ago. And yeah, that plate is kind of gone. Alright, we got the fish done. Let's throw the shrimp in there. We're going to go... One by, nah, fuck this bullshit. Just give me a handful of this shit, bitch. I'm hungry as hell. I mean, uh, just like that. Woo woo. <laughs> That's it. Mmm.
Y'all can't fuck with me in nobody's kitchen. I'm trying to tell you, y'all can't fuck with me in nobody's kitchen. Mm. I'm giving you angles. I'm giving you fried fish. I'm giving you fried shrimp. I'm giving you green beans, bitch. All right. So I definitely did what the recipe called for. And I had the pork belly in the refrigerator uh, to dry it out. So it's going to be crunchy on the outside. I'm about to roll this up with something that I love, yarn, and secure it. And then we're going to roast it in the oven for about five hours. I'm actually going to put a little Worcestershire sauce on there. Um, and the recipe calls to stuff it with like onions and lemongrass. I don't want all that mess, so we're just gonna roll it up just like this, add um, some Worcestershire sauce beforehand, and then roast that bitch. All right, as you guys can see, we bound it with yarn. Look at that good flavoring. It looks like somebody asshole though, don't it? But it smells great. Uh, flavored with Tabitha Brown's Sunshine, okay? Uh, Worcestershire sauce and a little rosemary. We're gonna throw this bitch in the oven. All right, you guys, as you guys can see, I made a makeshift roaster. I'm gonna roast it directly on the bars. It's a new oven, so. I don't really have any issue with that. And I definitely have a pen underneath to catch the flowing juices. Uh, but we'll see exactly how this roasts. It needs to roast for like five to six hours. So by the time my fast is up, I'll be ready to dig into this and we'll kind of see what it does. Okay, guys, so I looked up the recipe and it definitely does expand in the oven. So I just bound it again with two more pieces of yarn. And they also said the outside does hold flavor. So I kind of rolled it around in that Tabitha sunshine seasoning once more uh, before roasting. Okay, so let's throw this motherfucker back up in here. Ooh, boom, just like that. And um, yeah, that looks good. We're good to go. All right, roast it for six hours. I got a piece right here. I'm gonna taste it real quick. Mm. Oh my God, wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. Pork belly, baby. Mm, that's like, oh, yeah, cut out of both. So I'll just remove the yarn. Oh my God. Uh, Yo, and it tastes like a fucking dream. Mm. All right, that's the inside, and all of that is the good stuff right there. So I'm going to scrape this out um, and put it back in the oven on warm. All right, so as you can see, I removed the skin. I'm actually going to Google how to cook this, too, because this is edible. This is what pork rinds are made out of. Uh, but that is the pork belly meat right here. I'm actually going to season it up a little bit because it does need salt. Uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of Goya. And this is a little bit white people. Okay, that's how you season food. And, uh, of course, I'm using my hands to do this. And we're going to mix this up just a little bit and throw it back in that oven. Okay, this is pork right here. And we're going to put it over rice, but I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm going to finish eating my fish because I didn't finish it yesterday. And um, we'll be good to go. Mmm. Okay, so I'm kind of winging it here. Um, it says you want to boil until this softens back up, and then it's not going to take that long to fry up. Okay, uh, so I'm going to boil these really, really quickly. And again, this dinner is not until tomorrow. I just like the pre-prep of shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm putting these in here, and they said you want to boil them down. So I'm going to boil them down, and then we're going to save them until tomorrow. We're going to fry those up and put the pork belly with custom fried pork rinds over rice. Yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Baby, that look good. 
So we're gonna refrigerate that. We're gonna bring that to a boil. And once that softens up, we'll refrigerate that too. We're gonna re-season, put it back in the oven as the rice cooks for my last dinner as a 32 year old. Oh my God. All right, guys, so what I did was I crock-potted these skins uh, all night because I was afraid to boil them because I almost burned the house down when I was in the motherfucking goddamn gay squad, okay? Uh, so, as you guys can see, uh, they are, they, they're there. I need to pack them dry before I fry them, and again, I'm not going to be able to eat until 8 o'clock p.m. today. It's my last day of my fast or whatever, so this is all just uh, prep work. I'm getting the last one out right now and they're gonna be beautiful fried skins i'm actually gonna use oil because i love my air fryer but there's soul in that oil honey okay and there's no shade uh so that's empty and of course i'm warming up the pork from yesterday it should be prepared by the time i'm ready to eat let's pack these dry and refrigerate until we're ready to fry all right so i put the fat side up we're just gonna salt uh and salt should dry it out a little bit more i don't have a lot of salt left bitch what a goddamn on salt, hell. Maybe I use seasoned salt instead. Let's check the Lazy Susan. All right, just used a little bit of lemon pepper. Ooh, and it looks great on those skins, doesn't it? It's sparkling and stuff. You're going in the refrigerator, uh, dry it out a little bit, and then they're going straight in some hot motherfucking grease when I'm ready. Isn't that right? Ooh, Lord, that feels to tow your face up. Look at the camera, Moon. <laughs> All right, everybody, to break my fast because I succeeded. First, Maya is pouring some Grand Marnier so we can start the drinking. But pork skins, let's drop it. Oh, oh, whoa. Maya, turn it down, turn the grease down. Turn the grease down, Maya. Maya, Maya, oh, oh, I'm butt naked trying to do this. Oh, shit. Maya, Maya. <laughs> Maya! Oh, shit! Okay, guys. So, they're not burnt. They're just dark. I'm gonna taste one. Mmm! We got it right. After all that popping, we got it right. Mmm! Baby. Pork. Rice. Okay, this is pork belly. It's been oven roasted for about eight hours. Reheated in the oven and reseasoned. These right here are pork skins. Uh, yeah, they're a little dark because that grease popped both my ass. Um, and as you can see, it's really good. I'm just not hungry right now. It's so weird. I'm getting off of a five day fast when I can only eat at night. And I don't really be hungry when the time comes to eat. But I am going to tear this shit the fuck up. And then uh, open the fridge, my tomorrow. We're grilling like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's the inside of my fridge, y'all. Baby, this shit is so damn good. Mm. Mm. Supreme is so cute. Mm.